you ever witnessed the destruction of a place you held dear only to find an entirely new structure there a few months later? When I was a girl, I used to visit the old National Library in Singapore where my family would spend the entire day there reading. Completed in the 1960s, the library was a national icon for many Singaporeans. However, despite many opposing the decision, it was demolished to make way for the construction of a new tunnel. I remember asking my parents, Ma, Pa, why are we not going there anymore? And they would show me this downcast look. Girl, no more, no more. In cities that undergo rapid urban development, it is generally perceived that there is a limit to what heritage can be and should be conserved. This traditionally materializes as official lists of cultural properties and rituals to be carefully preserved. Due to this process often dictated by authorities, otherwise called authorized heritage discourse, ordinary people have witnessed the destruction of spaces they value which were not listed. In contrast, Everyday heritage is about the things and places that ordinary people value and how these can be better acknowledged. My research highlights the inadequacy of current heritage conservation policies. I examined the local shopping streets in Japan because despite nationwide concerns about its decline and cause for conservation, they are not given a strong presence in national narratives of history and culture. Through analysis of reports dating back to 1935 and secondary literature, I found that it is possible to appraise these urban spaces for their historical, cultural, and social values. Such spaces are representative of Japan's rapid urban modernization process and are imbued with local identity as they have matured together with the community. It will be too late to take action after these spaces have been erased or altered by insensitive urban redevelopment projects. I hope to develop a more concrete framework to balance development while protecting such everyday heritage in our urban environments. And with that, thank you for listening.